<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Toast and Jam, the Saturday Brunch Improv Brunch. Br wait, a Saturday Brunch Improv Mixer. <laughs> I already messed it up. Let's get right to it. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you're watching this, uh, we are going to showcase for you how Toast and Jam works. Uh, one of the most unique and fun, funnest things on the internet. Uh, the way that Toast and Jam works, we got three rounds of long form improv. How do we do that? Everyone's going to be assigned into breakout rooms at random. Uh, because of the formatting of breakout rooms, uh, hosts, check out that we got double periods walking in, so keep our hands on the trigger. Um, yeah, we got, we're going to have five people in the breakout rooms, about three or four. Um, we can host as many as 80 people, but just pe 80 is a lot to be in a room right now. Uh, everybody in the breakout room will have 12 minutes of bass play, um, and then we're going to announce it in, in Zoom thingies uh, when we're going to start. Uh, five minute wrap up. Uh, that's basically because no one's really seeing it except for today. Um, we get five minutes of a cool down. Uh, to wrap up the last scene, and then you can either use that time to share and reflect with your team. Hey, that was fun. Hey, I liked how you did this. Or just keep playing because we're not going to not we might <laughs> check what you're actually doing. That's kind of the cool thing. You're really performing for yourselves. There's really no audience except for yourselves. Uh, no constructive criticism, please. Uh, but if someone asks you for it, then that's fine. But praises are always accepted. Praises are always accepted. Look out for the broadcaster timer warnings because. Um, if it's your fault, if you go back into a thing, and it's there. Oh, you hear? Oh, you can hear the fire from the meeting. That's why it's all crackly. <laughs> now you can hear the fire effects. Uh, rounds two and three will include additional rules and scenarios, and I might kick it to one of the other hosts to share what that is. Um, while you're in the rooms, please nice, be nice to each other. We're all coming from different backgrounds. Uh, private message suggestions of anything at all to the jam host. So um, if you're on Facebook, you can get on this too. We'll look up the chat. But everybody who is currently here, you know the drill. Type Literally type anything at all. And we will try to make a wheel to get suggestions from that. Uh, stick around after the jam. Um, we're actually not going to do this because we have a lot of things to get to. Um, but normally at the end of the jam, we hang out for just a couple of minutes just to add to rounds two and three, which we'll see what that is. Um, the way that this works, sweep, edits, and tag outs. Everybody do the noodle and say, sweep. Ready, set, go. Sweet. Yeah. Um, that's just the universal thing for now. Just let people know we're editing the scene. We're moving on to something else. Uh, clarity on Zoom is important. And then tag out. Say someone's say tag out name. They turn their camera off, and you come in, and then vice versa. Uh, the one thing that we usually do, we announce for every inner city improv jam is a timeout. Long story short, if something is happening um, in the scene that is making you you uncomfortable to the point where you cannot safely um, enjoy playing, then um, say something, I'm uh, time out, I'm uncomfortable, can we move on? Uh, this one says, this validates our, the damn guidelines, what's going on in that scene. Um, mm. And then we'll acknowledge it and just move on. It's really easy to do, like, every, we're not sure where everyone's comfort level is, so we have this, so we can we can communicate, that we can play well. And then the spare slides, there's that. So, at this point, I'm going to reveal to everybody how we do this, is we have a wheel of names. R drum roll, please, for the wheel of names. Drum roll, please, for the wheel of names. Um, somebody hand over people who are in here. Um, I'm going to copy and paste the chats. Um, where is, I'm going to just do, like, I'm going to do this. Uh, and then, I'm sorry if a private message just got put into the chat um, for the wheel. So we're going to spin our first. <laughs> oh, this is going to be it. such fun. <laughs> we're using it. Only here to allow down. A little point shot uh, offering a workshop right after this. So we're only here for an hour. So this is our suggestion. Only here until this an hour. This is going to be the greatest improv set ever. <laughs> no, the way that today, first of all, uh, everyone, now they're on screen, wave your hands. This is the crew that's going to be playing Toast and Jam today. Um, you're going to see, uh, every, we're not going to see anybody because they'll be playing in breakout rooms, except for the uh, random bunch who volunteers themselves to, uh, to play live for everybody to see. So raise your hand if you'd like to volunteer yourself to play live. Nelson's hands first, so luck of the draw. If you're paired up with Nelson, uh, then your team's playing live. Um, if there's uncomfortable, then we'll swap people in and out. That's how we're doing this. Speaking of which, Nelson's on team with 
Uh, Lindsey Gonzalez. Uh, Susan uh, Skowsko from Pennsylvania. And Ava uh, from those four. Are, is everyone okay playing um, live for camera during this one, or would you be preferred to go into a breakout room where no one can see you? I think they all had their hands up. Let's do this. So we got to delete that room. And then everybody, uh, I'll send the message out when everyone's ready. I got to set up timer. And bon voyage. Go ahead and meet Someone, yourself. Someone uh, uh, unblock uh, Melanie Chardoff's video. Um, yeah, someone handle that, please. I'm going to set a timer now. Uh, I'm actually going to do a stopwatch so the thing doesn't go off. Um, but yeah, I usually will just do a stopwatch like this for timing. And then these are our players for our first set. Lindsay, Ava, Nelson, and Susan, where are you? The suggestion for round one, you'll get 12 minutes of play. Here I am. No, Siri, not you. Uh, you'll get 12 minutes of base play, and then at some point I'll just say... Five minute cool down since everyone can see you. Uh, ladies and okay. gentlemen, this is Lindsay, Ava, Nelson, and Susan, and begin. Hey. Hey, so will you somebody get out here? We're, please get, we're only, hey, we're only here for an hour. We can only be here for an hour. I know, I know. Did you join up for that improv class after uh, this? No, you know what you, you guys did. I didn't, but but Europe can only be here for an hour, so we got to get with it. Okay, let's go. What were what? you talking about before? Were you talking about sweeping up your uh, chimney? How, yeah. How did you know? I'm you trying have a to chimney get chimney sweep brush behind you. That's right. Uh, oh yeah, I, I got to get my chimney. It's over there. I got to get it ready for Santa Claus. It, you know, it is march but i try to be prepared oh great that's awesome let's see if mrs santa claus is coming in where is mrs santa claus are, are you gonna make an appearance oh santa claus um i got a bunch of presents what do you want today oh what do I want? Do you have that new video game for me? New video game? There are like on a million of them like every day, so you got to be specific. Oh, uh, how about the uh, PS5? Do you have a PS5? PS5? Let me see. I'm sorry, that's too popular. It's out. No PS5? I still, I'm going to have to keep playing on my PS4? I think that's going to last a while. And like, I mean, I got a lot of customers like you who whine about things. What, you know? what happened to Santa Claus? I'm, I'm just a salesperson, but I mean, without getting any profit for myself. So... Yeah. Ah, it feels so good not having to make all those deliveries. If there's one good thing to come out of the world shutting down, it's not having to go into everyone's disgusting chimney that they never clean. <laughs> ah. I, that, like, I mean, I really have no idea why, how they can live with that. Like, you know, with all the kind of like suits and everything kind of in the chimney. Like, Well, it's a fire hazard if you run a fire, but if you just let it dormant and don't do anything and turn on your electric heater, Bob's your uncle. It's fine. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I guess like for, the, for our planet, like, it's going to be better, like we are having kind of this climate change. Like, why do we still have chimney? Well, you now you got me thinking. Yeah, we burned coal that was worse for our lungs and definitely worse for the planet and digging it out of the ground. But are things really better? We're still using fossil fuels. Hey, if I could make everyone's uh, car run on magic like my sleigh, I would. But, you know, limited. Clean nuclear energy, that's the future. Santa, Santa. Did you say that we don't have to deliver Christmas presents? Not this year. In fact, not until the world governments agree that this is over. Oh, Santa, this is great. You mean all the elves are going to be on vacation? Well, let's call it that. Let's call it an extended leave package. 
Oh, Santa, Santa, thank you so much. I'm devoting just... the next 12 months of my uh, life to taking down Amazon. Hey, excuse <laughs> me, Santa. Yes? I have this extended leave package, and it says that I'm, I, I'm to go to the Burmese Islands. You can go wherever you want, just can't stay here because the ice cops are melting because we keep using fossil fuels. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, yeah, but 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 my ticket, I have a ticket in here and it says I got to fly to the Burmese Islands. We're on know. extended leave. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure that out. Where would you rather go? I don't know. Sri Lanka, Tahiti, you name it. Any place you haven't been, I'll take you there. Um, How about... How about the uh, North Pole? You've spent your whole life here, and you want to go on vacation here too? Yeah, I I want to stay close because I'm just I'm really afraid that you're going to give my job away when we come back to work. No, 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 that's not what extended leave package means. I'm Santa. Look at my chirpier, happier elves that were here earlier. They're they're completely understanding. That I'm going to hire them back after the season. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I know how it, how you are, and, and you run things by the clock, and and if we're not back on time, on time, you have a tendency to let us go. You have the whole Gregorian calendar, and we have a whole twenty four hour cycle at the end of December. I don't know. I, 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 this is a good thing. Oh, it's okay. March. Do what you want. You're all okay. Off. I'm gonna go get it. I'm, Extended go. leave is perfectly okay. I'm not firing go. anyone. Who do you think I am, Jeff Bezos? Yeah, I'm, go I'm <laughs> going to catch my plane. Yeah. <laughs> and to all a good quarantine. <sighs> Hello? Hello. Did I end up here alone? Alone? No. No? <gasps> Whoa. Wait. Wait. I've heard this voice before. Before? Yes. Before. before. I've heard this voice before. Heard before. 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 Oh. oh. There's two voices now. Am I being haunted? Haunted. Echo. Haunted. I did echo. Oh, now I'm being haunted by three voices. Is it all in my head or is it real? Real. 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 Really? Do you see any hair up there, though? There's no real hair up there. Real hair. Real. Oh, my gosh. I, 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 I'm freaking out. That's what happened to me. I came to the Burmese Islands getting away from Santa Claus on leave and I'm losing my mind. My mind. My mind. My mind. I think it's time that I should uh, I should go ahead and check myself in for evaluation. <laughs> Son, I really love your new hair. Like, What did you do to have them grow back? Just that one? Yeah. It was it, it was very special. It cost me ninety nine ninety five. Ninety nine ninety four? Really? Ninety nine ninety five. Yeah, just to get that one hair implanted. And they told me that it would spread to the rest of my head, but do you see any spreading? Well, I mean I s I'm seeing like some tiny spots kind of like there, like maybe it's just like something kind of like budding in there. Oh. So there is a chance that I'll have hair again. I think so. Um, maybe you just need to spend a little bit more money because, like, you know, I don't know how many strands of hair like people have on their heads, but like ninety nine from like ninety nine is like really cheap. It looks like you have plenty. Could I get some of your hair? Yeah, of course. Let me like let me put on like a strand then. Maybe like try plant it on. <laughs> Okay, here you go. Hey, hey, like, uh, I think you got my hair and I got your hair because I got too much hair now. This is a hairy situation. 
Yeah, it is. So, so how are we going to get, I don't know, how are we going to do this? Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Did so, oh, I got trapped with this group? You guys were talking in my head and now I see you and you, everybody's got all kinds of hair but me. Yeah. We're really hair. Am I? You hair. Yeah, I see. There's three hairs and a hairless. And you were supposed to like go in and get like some more hair, like so you can be like a part of our like cool group. I had a little. Be well, listen. But you have just as I, much hair as the rest of us. It's just very, very thin. Well, and look at it. It's it's not on my head. It's on my chin. Very thin. Migrated. But it's on my chin. Well, maybe you could like grow more, and then like you could just bring it up around. Oh, around. oh, and then put it on. Yeah, like that. Amazing. Be really cool. You know how long that'll take me, though, don't you? A few months. T two months. A few months. Yeah. Oh, a like, few months. Like how thirty-seven about a... months. Three, three and a half years. Possibly. Ooh. What if you get those special pills that you know, like uh that are growth pills and then can, you can massage like this oil into your hair follicles and then can, everything will be cool will that work in 24 hours because i well in one hour because i i've only got one hour to get this done uh, well uh i'm not the expert on that or any of you the expert on that cut to the expert on in hair Okay, so you got your your sprays and your gels and your creams and your hair pen, right? All of these products combined together. I'm telling you, you can have growth beyond belief. Wait, 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 wait. Do I have to use them all at one time or do I use them separately? First, you're going to draw on the hair, right? And then you're going to set it into place with a spray. And then you're going to put... The regrowth gel, right? I got all of these late night television. I know they're good, right? Oh, late this one, night television. This moisturizing serum, uh, and it's you're gonna have regrowth beyond belief. You're gonna have three to four inches every time you go to sleep with that on. Okay, well I've got my first deal. I'm gonna go take uh, an hour nap, and and I'll be back, and let's see how the growth is. Let's see. It's only ninety 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 nine. <laughs> oh my gosh mm. I spent all that money and look took a nap no hair I'm hairless I thought you told me that it would work. I said go to sleep for the night, not take a cat nap. I don't know. I don't know what you do. I told you I bought these products on late night television, the most reliable source for oh. chemical home health care products, right? Like the, the massage machine you put in your face and it stimulates your skin to make you younger. Like the can of, of spray on hair, like the abdominizer, the belt that does sit-ups for you, all of that stuff. Uh, are top are of the you? Line. Oh my gosh. I got to go through all of that just to make progress. I'm just telling you, this is the best products that money can buy are sold between 2 a.m. and 6 a.m. on cable television. Okay. Well, Every I and tack everyone on. I bring everyone on the screen. Okay. Um, so. Uh, we at the Happy Hair Growth Company, uh, we need to kind of figure out ways to re expand our business. So, we had a very un unhappy customer. He's called Nelson Morgan, who put up a very nasty review on our Yelp page. So, I think I need some ideas from you to re how to kind of make this pyramid scheme work and scam out more money from people. Hello, I'm the Hair Fairy. I am coming to you through metamorphosis. Here I come. 
Here I come. Hello, I'm the hair fairy. And yes, it is true that this person was a little bit mad, but he wasn't following complete directions. So I say we refund his money and tell him specifically how to do it. And then he will be happy and he'll be able to post on Yelp the correct ways to grow his hair henceforth. Thank you so much, Hair Fairy, but like you said that in our last meeting too. <laughs> yes, but the person that has complained did not follow the explicit directions. I know if he follows the explicit directions that he will be able to grow his hair properly. Properly. And there's also the chance that he can grow his beard longer. And if he grows his beard longer, he can comb it over his head. It's called the comb over. Uh, this is nonsense. Yeah. Demonstrate. I, of course, I was the hair fairy who had red hair, but look, I am growing my blonde hair over the red hair. Is thus because sweep, uh, sweep everyone, cut back to Mrs. Santa Claus with her sack. So, uh, how's it been uh, these past 12 months? Are you in charge? It's been great. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I really absolutely enjoyed like, working with all my customers. I have been all this like, whining and ridiculous requests about PS5. That's pretty much like, all, <laughs> all right now. These kids always want the latest thing. Yeah, it's not just like kids. Like I got a sixty-five-year-old who like kind of was <laughs> whining about like PS Five, and uh, like he was just unhappy about the trip to Burmey Islands. I don't know why. Hmm. No one's ever happy except this little this little gal right here. Happiest elf I know. Always got a big <laughs> smile on. I like your heart lights in your heads. Hey, I need to remind you guys. We're at 59 minutes and 55, 56, 57, 58, All right. 59. Our hour count. is up. Happy New Year! Yay! And scene! I guess everyone just doesn't want to hang out after because he's still got uh, one minute before I close the rooms. Actually, it's 18 minutes. Uh, I loved Susan. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting stuff ready. I love Susan just being the Christmas elf and all the fun, like, character. Uh, not char I mean, character, but, like, the, yeah. <laughs> the costume chase choices. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Thank you, Faustino. It is just that <laughs> This, it is junk that is left that I, my mother told me to clean up. <laughs> okay. Let's go with that, man. She's kicking me out of the house. I'll be going back to Pittsburgh soon. <laughs> I was doing a very similar accent to I went to Korean barbecue last night with the, with the bass player. And just like this weird, this whatever, like quasi fake, uh, like Englishman accents. And all the frivolity, for whatever reason, is just amusing to everybody. <laughs> I love, I loved when Lindsay came on with all the hair products. <laughs> like, well, that's all I could think of when it was kept talking about like I've tried everything. I'm like, oh yeah, I remember those commercials, like the Ronco spray on hair. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, <laughs> what is, yeah, I was gonna say like, what was in the bag? Because like, it'll corner my eye as I'm trying to get the. The wheels right. It's like, what is happening right now? <laughs> yeah, I just I lit my prop. My prop shelf is like, what are the things are right next to me? They are just grooming products. This is a makeup setting spray. This is <laughs> are you. Everyone knows what this is now, and this is lip gloss. <laughs> no secrets. This is what I put on my body daily. <laughs> yeah, Honestly, my I don't have my props or whatever I can grab without getting up from my uh, couch. That's. <laughs> 
That's awesome. I had all these hair products next to me too. I was so glad you kept going because I almost had to spray my hair a different color. <laughs> oh, I didn't have to go too far. I remember one time somebody said something in the middle of an improv set and um, it was like, and now we're at a funeral. So I just grabbed a dress that I had and it made a veil for my face and it scared the, the Jesus out of the person. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the first round of Toast and Jam, hosted by Inner City Improv. Give yourselves a round of applause. Hooray! Yeah, vintage Shapiro. Nice. Um, yeah, just as we, so out uh, in the scene earlier, they had the five minute cooldowns. So they're just talking, and that's we just wait for a rep's round. Um, the wheels are set, but as I'm getting the rooms ready, uh, did anybody want to share with the audience on Zoom uh, how fun was your set? <laughs> Not all at once, unless you want to keep it a secret. Exceedingly. Exceedingly a secret? All right, fine. Exceedingly fun. All right. yeah, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, right. we, I, I learned I, we had people, people inside of our heads who were there, and then I found one of them. <laughs> all right, well, the rooms are now open, but are set up. But before we do that, uh, who would like to volunteer their team to perform next on stream? David Shapiro. I have Corinne, David, Drew, and o Ofer. Are you okay with being on stream for this portion of the jam? I, I prefer to move to. Okay, I'm gonna switch you with. Uh, oh. I'm gonna make Brian do it. Is that okay, Brian? Okay. All right, Brian's going on stream. Give it around for Brian for being a good. Yay. <laughs> So then, yeah, new one will be Corinne, uh, Brian, David, and Drew. Uh, you will be in the main room with me, and that room goes away. So, drum roll, please, for the second round of Postal Jam. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. So, second round, um, basically, is... Uh, Someone did stop. Yeah, it was, it was, it kept time time all right the way it works is that uh we want to keep things interesting for the second round so we add a caveat which is kind of like a short form game or a one-on-one exercise uh why am i talking let's spin the wheel what's going to be this week's weird rule or we don't have a name for it we're just doing it okay and we <laughs> that was like, like a lay on the lay yeah lay on oh we're doing all of them oh we're doing all of them we're doing all of them oh not kind of not really not really no. not, really. not doing all of them um, new choice. Uh, let's see. Okay, so what this means is that uh, in any state, oh gosh, I almost got both. Oh, uh, this is a, this is an improvised uh, paradise. Basically, your whole montage is gonna have the rule new choice involved. That means anybody can call new choice, or however you want to decide to do that. Uh, but new choice as a rule is. Oh my gosh, we're all gonna show our bells. We're gonna show our bells on stream. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it. Uh, this is gonna be um, our gimmick is. Anybody can call a new choice. And for the suggestion, uh, fiber gigabit. Okay. Oh, what is this? What does that mean? What is that? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did somebody I'm guessing someone type it. What their suggestion again? Well, okay. First of all, Improv 101, everything is a gift. You can use it or not use it. Uh, let's just make this the gift. Maybe oh, it's an app yeah. for oh, yeah. Oz e EA Games. Challenge everything. Uh, I don't know. So uh, your suggestion is Oseo, whatever that means. Uh, and your rule is anybody can call out new choice in the sets. Uh, let's open those breakout rooms. And ladies and gentlemen, um, while everybody is um, going into their breakout rooms, give it up for, first of all, David Shapiro from Chicago, Illinois. Woo! Woo! Yeah, go in your breakout rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we also got Brian Sebi from Wheaton, Illinois. Woo! We have Corinne from I, somewhere in the East Coast. No, 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 you're finished in San Francisco Bay Area. Bay Area of Corinne. And uh, Drew from Michigan? Richmond, Virginia. Better, even better. Yeah, Richmond, Virginia. Miss, uh, Michigan, Virginia. Michigan, New Virginia. Choice. Michigan, <laughs> Michigan, Virginia. We are in Virgin, Michigan. No, no. okay, I'm going to leave that off. Um, you guys got about a minute to chat before I start the timer. So you're... Yeah. 
All right, the suggestion O Z E A. O Z E A. Um, and new choice. Uh, basically, who's ever off screen probably should be okay. the one calling it. And let's have fun. Uh, and and yeah. call it to the person that's speaking, right? Yeah. yeah, and you might even want if at one point you want to say new name. choice and yeah. name the person. And like uh, Corinne, uh, Corinne, new yeah. Cor yeah. Corinne, uh, Corinne, uh, new new choice, or just or new yeah, yeah. way of saying that or something too. Yeah, you yeah. can do a lot of things. And I have a bell because short form is fun. I actually bought this for the short form game. So <laughs> nerd, that's right. <laughs> I don't drink Kool-Aid anymore. I'm I'm done with added sugar. Like that, it's your choice. It's fine. I I I I applaud you. Yeah, but yeah, I told you last week, and but you're still serving me the Kool-Aid. Like, well, why? it's fine if you don't drink it. I just as you know. I just always it's my thing. I always got a Kool Aid, but I'm fine if you don't. More Kool Aid for me. New choice on a on a quip. I just want to make sure you're happy. New choice. I get up in bulk at Costco, so it's really nothing. <laughs> yeah, just like like if I could go with you to Costco next time and and get some chamomile tea or something that i like to drink please i anytime i'm ready to go great i mean i'll be ready like in in a couple of hours to go True, uh, new choice. i'll be i'll be ready like right now I, i'm ready True, to go choice. right now uh we could have went yesterday i was free yesterday <laughs> and i'm not free for a week well like whenever. Whenever well, I mean, you, you know what you know that I want like the chamomile tea. Can you just like maybe you can go get it? Here, I, mean, I, I mean, I, I new new choice way of reaching. I've new got a whole of box. Of... <laughs> uh, <laughs> is oolong okay? I, I got uh, that I got chamomile. Oolong, oolong, oolong will work. Yeah, I, I really like the. This, you're always so accommodating. It's it's sorry. It's very I, good. I, Camille, like the one tea I don't have. Right. I mean, it's fine. You know, I, I'm sorry for getting all like hyped up about it. I just, you know, choice, Drew. I, you know, I'm sorry about getting really like sad and depressed New about choice, it. Drew. I'm sorry about just getting really, really pissed off at you for for not having this. <laughs> uh, and, like offer me the Kool Aid because I told you last week. Uh, like, but I'm sorry for that. Uh, I don't want to be like that. So I appreciate the oolong. Tag out, tag out, tag out, Brian. Well, Drew, uh, thanks for coming in this week. Uh, you told me last week that you were going to work on your anger issues, and even though you were angry at people, you were going to forgive them, but you were going to admit that you were angry at them, and you were going to admit that they were wrong. Yes, yes, I, I have worked on that this week. Good, good, good. Do you have any any examples that you might be able to give me of? Uh, yes, my 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 brother. I told him I was quitting. You know, they added sugar, and he he offered me a Kool Aid uh, per usual, and I, I just got really really pissed off in in the moment. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. I, I admitted that you know I was wrong, and I that he he offered me oolong tea, and that was very kind of him. Okay, okay, that's good. You forgave him, even though he was wrong before. David, new new uh, way or new advice. Ah, you, you. So what you didn't do is you didn't suck, suck, suck it all down into your advice, into your, into your gut. That's what you used to. New do. advice. Don't ever do that again. What you just did. This, even though I gave you that advice this last week, I'm changing it up this week. So I should oh, get I, angry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Drew like, out. So, so, doctor, uh, this is my sixth visit, and I'm mm -hmm. still feeling the same. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did you have someone else to recommend other than you, maybe? Uh, it's not mm. helping. Well, I'm, I'm sorry you feel that way, Corinne. Um, 
when you came in here, you uh, you suffered from fear of losing friends and losing people that you were close to. So obviously, I need to keep you as my client. That was my goal was in keeping you as my client. You don't want me to lose you is what you're saying. Any choice. You don't want me to have any other friends. You want me to just be here with you all the time. New choice. You want me to be someone like you, perhaps someone who gives advice, someone who is uh, in charge of herself. That's right. I'm looking for a partner. Not, partner. not, no, not a. I, 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 I'm not, not ready to partner, commit. Not a, not a relationship partner. Not necessarily a business partner. New, new, more partners. Uh, not uh, a, a general partnership. Not a limit. Not a limited partnership. Not uh, uh, the the partner. Uh, the the book by John Grisham. Uh, not uh, a partnier, which I believe is a French word for a type of biscuit. How about a, new an French animal words. partner? Say, say it again, Brian. An, an I, animal partner, like a, a support partner, like like I could be a, a, a good a good pet or a dog or a cat or goat or more whatever. pets or a sheep or maybe a parrot. A parrot would be good. Uh, perhaps a llama. A, a, a llama? Is a that snake, the same thing a as a llama? Is that the same thing as a llama? Uh, uh, they're cousins. Llamas, llamas. Ah, I see. I but see. they yes. look exactly alike. I want that. You can't yes. tell them apart. If you would agree to stay here and act as a pet out in my waiting room and greeting the rest of my customers and the rest of my patients. You know, doctor, that is the best advice you have and, given me all this time. I hate I, people. I hate people. I'm going to get you a little bell around your neck with a little, little, uh, we're going we're to change your name to Oz Yeah. Oz Yeah. Oz Yeah. We. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good. I can't. People just think I'm a llama and we're not the same. We're not. I know. Look, look at me. I have long lashes. I know. And I'm you a are a beautiful llama. Yeah. And, and we have lashes that, and, and exactly. you can't, I've never seen a llama with lashes. Ever. Exactly. No. My lashes are not as great as yours. They're pretty good. New Sometimes choice. you do. New choice, Brian. I could only dream of maybe being as cute as a llama, but we got the lash game on. You do lash out sometime though. I do. <laughs> I do. That is one thing about us yamas. <laughs> we have a good sense of humor, don't we? <laughs> we have to because sometimes they call us, oh, what's that other one that looks like us? I can't think of its name. Alpaca? No. Oh, oh yes. all right. Bring all these alpacas in. Get these alpacas. All right, come on, you all. Get in, get in the barn. <laughs> new, new, new noise that uh, the llamas make. Oh. Um. <laughs> oh, new, new choice, new noise that the llamas make. <laughs> hey, you all sound really, really happy to to get shaved today. I can't wait to shave you while you're in good spirits. Come on, come on, get in here, get in here. Shaving us? No. Hey. That's my llama <laughs> emergency sound. <laughs> all right, sweep, sweep, sweep. sweep. Hold into passenger. <laughs> Uh, about this, uh, new jacket, you say it's, uh, alpaca wool? Yeah, that, that, that's, that's 100% alpaca wool. It looks fantastic on you. Okay. Okay. Um, the, the, the tag says made by alpaca. David, new choice. It says, uh, it says, uh, made uh, by, by uh, orphans in China. <laughs> David, and new they, choice. Uh, it says, psych. <laughs> so I don't know if this is real or not. Yeah, I, I can I can assure you that it's one hundred percent not real. 
that's why it's such such a good price. Oh, but no so, one will know. But you no, new choice. But uh, people uh, will know that that it's fake when when they see it. New choice. But uh, just don't don't I, I I wouldn't get that here if I were you. I, I wouldn't buy it from from us. Okay. Uh, well, thanks for being thanks for being honest. Um, I, I I will. Do you have any um that if they are fake that they, they people won't be able to tell? Actually, everything here it, it's very very fake and, and it looks cheap and okay. uh, everyone will be able to to tell. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. So um, most of the people who, who are shopping here just really just don't care about fade it out. <laughs> Hello, so I'm coming here because I'm told this is good place, good cheap stuff. Curran, <laughs> different accent. Hello, I'm here because <laughs> I understand that you have some quite lovely pieces of clothing, the unique, unique clothing that no one else has ever seen before. Curran, every time you have a sentence, do a different accent. And so uh, you, you, I come to call you, it's easy to come to this, this, this place, nice come. Um, you know, uh, I don't have no smart desk. Do you have that desk? We have all sorts of gaudy looking clothing. If that's what you're looking Your choice for. choice you have more, all types of. We have all types of uh, ninja swords here. If that's what you're looking for, uh, this is the place for you. I come Every car, car. I, got, I got something. The car, uh, uh, car's not so hot. I don't have that car, but car I will have to fix to match what I get in getting. If you need to fix your car, you can do it with a samurai sword. There's nothing that a samurai sword can't do. Uh, True. Uh, new new way you can fix your car. Uh, th there's nothing that uh, a popsicle won't fix on your car. If you want to buy a popsicle here, we got all sorts of flavors to fix your all right, car. I, I, all right, I'm, I'm from Osea, <laughs> South Carolina, you know, and, uh, and I'm going to wonder if it's going to drive me all that way to Osea, that car. Well, tag, out, tag out, Drew. You're back to one one uh, accent only, Corinne. Thank you. So uh, you, uh, well, you tell me, you went down to uh, see how to fix a car, and they sent you back with some popsicles? No, they sent me back with a sword. Oh, oh, man. We, we ain't gonna be able to get to Osea on a sword and a popsicle yeah. stick. Well, I mean, did you did you at least get some popsicles? I mean, I mean, they might. Have I ate the popsicle. I just got. The oh stick yeah, well, left. that makes sense. So, so we we gonna take that sword, and we gonna put. Stick it, do we just stick it right in the engine? Is it like a magical sword? New choice. And so uh, we're gonna take that. We're gonna take that uh, sword. And as we ride around, we're going to hold it in front of us, and it's like going to power us to move us forward? Yeah, yeah. Th that sounds like a good idea. And, and people stay away from us as we're driving. Yeah. If we if we uh, change the sword from one window to another, just oh, like, yeah. get out of our way. We're going uh, we're going <laughs> on our road, and you get out of our way. That's that's the only thing I could think of. It would just, like, just like me weed whacking and killing the gophers while we're weed whacking. That's it, you know. David, new, new expression. Oh, it would be just like uh, killing the slow pokes while we're into the corn pone. New <laughs> expression. Oh, it's just like we was uh, taking the wombats out and shooting them at twice the speed of light. <laughs> oh, we can get those wombats with oh. the slower too, couldn't we? <laughs> we we got it going. Tag out Corin. This. So many wombats here, man. Hey, wombat, hey, wombat heaven. <laughs> Dude, that sword is wicked awesome. I know. <laughs> got you got one of your you got one of your own, huh? <laughs> yeah, I went to the same dealership and they gave me a sword. They just gave you one? Well, I mean, I had to get my car repaired, but it was part of the oh, deal. Oh, yeah, okay. Um. I, I was told by a, a, a little old man as I left that place that, uh, or my wife was, that, that there could only be one. Oh. I don't know what that means, though. I, I do believe that means we must fight a duel to the death. Oh. 
I think that probably means that when they're donuts, that there's only one left after you eat a dozen because it was do Baker's dozen to begin with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, we'll probably have to fight over it then. Good thing we got our swords. Good thing we got our swords. I don't want to want to. I don't really want to like either hurt you or get hurt, Clem. I don't want to hurt you either, Bill. That... No, I, I, I agree. Is there a way we could do this like on an app? We could do it the old-fashioned way. Duel of words. Well, actually, I was thinking uh, that uh, samurai fruit, fruit slicing game. Oh. We can also be fruit ninjas. Fruit ninjas. Fruit. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, that was. A... Here, catch a. Here, here's a watermelon. Gotcha. 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 <laughs> this is wow. It's it just this is this is not as easy as it looks. I mean, these are these dolls, These swords are not real. New choice. These swords are, are dull as heck. New choice. These swords are made of toilet paper. Oh boy. That's, that's when I hit it. It's like, it's like, it, it was sort of hard toilet paper, but still it's. Yeah. Huh? I guess, free. Well, you know what? I think we could split the donut. Oh, <laughs> no, there's no rule against that, Clem. You grab the other half. Thank you. I got you've got the bigger half. Scene. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! And everyone turns off their camera. <laughs> uh, all are... Thank you. Oh, I forgot we were on the streaming. Yes, thank you for <laughs> Thank you for reading. No, I thought, I thought because you turned off because you knew you were on the stream. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure the stream at this point is it's four people, but I know for a fact I'm one of those people. Hello, Great Faustino time. on Facebook. And hello, Faustino's mother or sister. No, Barbara. they checked out. They checked out. They uh, Barbara, we miss you. I want to see Barbara at the long form jam. Make 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 your family participate in the jam. Uh yeah, let's try that. I'm tr if anything, my sister might try or or um, let's get let's get, your, let's get your mom to host the jam. Yeah. What no, I think <laughs> no, she's not she's not gonna know how to do it. Okay, we're going to do make small noises. <laughs> I, I'm gonna put my mom on stream. I gotta be careful. So, so David, do you still have that yellow shirt somewhere? I was, I thought I I thought I had it. If anyone didn't realize who's watching the stream, this is me in 1989. We're in the exact same and with a lady named Debbie, Debbie Lee, the AE Pie Barn Dance. I think there's a possibility. And I, like that you both have, I, I like you both have the red accessory underneath it. Exactly. Underneath. And I saw you know it. I was like, That's you know exactly what I was wearing in this photo. It's not. It a, it's not the red shirt. This is the Reno Improv shirt that they. Put yeah, on. and I was wearing a turtleneck. I was. You know, maybe though, Faustino is 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 you, David. I mean, will at some point Faustino yep. will travel back in time yep. and become you. Yep. So like, there's even more Faustinos watching. Gotcha. A Jewish it's Faustino. A, it's just a it's a paradox. A paradox of just Faustinos running. No, it's a pair of Faustinos. Ah. <laughs> All right, so everyone's coming up in nine, eight, seven, seven six. six. Uh, the room. Bye, guys. It was up. fun. But oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to leave. No, you're, you're staying in here. Like you're in this room, unless you're leaving the jam. Well, I have, I oh. have, I have a one of the wonderful workshops as part of this festival in ten minutes. That's so also I. very true. So, All right, we're gonna. Everyone's gonna stop talking because we gotta get into this last set. Um, I'm just calling it because I'm a varmint. Uh, but I uh, do believe, Fausto, you know, that some of these these festival workshops may still have space in them if people want to learn to do improv like we are, or yeah, better yeah. than we are. Yeah, <laughs> there's a couple of them right now um, that are coming up. Specifically, uh, Luana uh, Prowencia, uh, her workshop is coming up in half an hour. Uh, actually, it's coming up in ten minutes. If anybody wants time for that, um, I will sponsor. I will sponsor three people. Um, who want to take that workshop, which I guess means that people will have to leave the stream right now. But yes, if you would like to take Luana's workshop, I'm sponsoring three people. So if anybody wants to go three ways, no. What am I trying to say? 
What am I doing right now? Yeah. New choice. Let, me, let, me, let me spin the wheel. Let me spin the wheel and I'm, I'm lost. Spinning the wheel. Uh, third rule is basically... Uh, <laughs> we so many. We're playing a scenario. What scenario is this? We're repeating. Oh my gosh. We're doing improvised Jane Austen. I hope you've been reading this summer. Yes. Uh, we're, we're doing yes, improvised yes, Jane Austen. Yes. In, the, in the suggestion of I only know about Mr. Darcy because my teacher made me read. Uh, is it Jose again? The letter H. <laughs> so the suggestion is just straight up the letter H, okay. and then in the style of Jane Austen. That's how we get weird. This for it for uh, for toast and jam, folks. We really have no idea. All right. So uh, who would like to vo magically volunteer their? No, set? I'm going. I have to go. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Me too. Okay. I have to go. Workshop. Workshop, workshop. We might, we might actually just end the this. workshop. You know what? Um, Let's just have a five-minute party. Oh, no, 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 no. We're doing, we're doing the set, even if it's gonna be smaller. Let's, we're gonna close it out. Do it all in here, all in here. We're all <laughs> doing fine. We're gonna break a roll. I can't believe we're doing this, but we're improvisers. We're gonna do an eight-minute set, all on here, unless someone is uh, rather not. Well, okay. Let me say this: is unless someone is not comfortable on stream let's do two groups is anybody here not wanting to perform on stream going once going twice okay whoever's in the okay one two three four five six seven one two three four i know all first i didn't want to be on on stream so i'm gonna exchange brian again no brian's leaving you're leaving right yeah i gotta leave too but yeah um we're just going to close out the hour. So uh, we're going to leave it as this. I'm going to close this room. So Brian, David, uh, Ava, Jim, Nelson, Tori, you're uh, with me. And then Corinne, Corinne Drew, Helen, Lindsay, Ofer, and Susan, uh, you're going to be in a breakout room. And you got uh, seven minutes. Good luck. <laughs> Jane Austen, seven minutes. Uh, let's get right into it. Camera's off. This is the third improvised uh, round of Toast and Jam. I went to the party and it was wonderful. Can you agree with me, sister? Woo! <laughs> First time being invited. I, I, I saw everyone's eyes and they were on me. Oh, Henrietta. Being at the Heffersons party, I felt a little bit jealous of you. How predictable! Her H. Anyways, I see there might be an eligible bachelor in the corner that tickles your fancy. Like he. Look at him winking at you so yet. voluptuously. It looks like you have two suitors that might fight. For your affection. But all their eyes are on you. Are they? <laughs> well, I wish for them to fight for my favor. Excuse me. Excuse me. I am Lord Winterbottom, and I would like to ask for the hand of the lovely Lady Faustino for the next dance. Is it Do you have room on your dance card? Is it Winterbottom with an H or no H? Does not matter. Eight is un unimportant. In the whistleblower home, please come with me to the dance floor. Sister, you better find the mate before nightfall. <laughs> Henrietta always gets picked first. <laughs> Hello. Hazel. Hazel. Listen, I've got my eye on you. Can you see? I've got my eye on you. Oh, and I love to dance. Do you love to dance? What's your favorite um, step? Um, I, I like the waltz. Oh, I, I like, can waltz. You like, you like the waltz? You're not just but, picking me because Henrietta got picked first, are you? No, the no. Only one left? Hazel, listen, I love to dance. I, I, I love bachata and salsa. 
merengue, cha-cha, the waltz. I can dance we uh, country and Western. I can, I can do ballet. I can do it all. And I saw I you. I forgot the confidence. I, I, I saw you and, and you, I think would make an amazing dancer. If we tore up this dance floor, perhaps her highness would see me and take notice of me. Oh, and you know what? I'm not going to be selfish. If, if I can help you to get that person's attention, I will make you look the, like the best dancer on the floor. Sorry to interrupt, Lady Tory. I just have to say that your sister Henrietta has one of the worst attitudes I've ever seen in a young in a young woman coming out through this season. Impugn my impugn my attitude. I am not, I am slow to leave. She, uh, what what happened? <laughs> Henrietta, she gets all the attention and she ruins it as soon as I get a chance. Sweet. She's hostile. Sweet, bring in Eva. Bring in Eva. Okay. Hello, Harriet. How would you like some tea? Oh, I would love that, Harold. Thank you so much. And how do you take your tea, Harriet? Uh, I will add a little bit of raspberry jam in it if you have them. Half a teaspoon? Yeah, sure. An intriguing choice, Harriet. <laughs> who is he? Harriet, who is he? I, well, he's just um, a neighbor. Harriet, here. Thank you. Is this the suitor you're speaking of, Harriet? Um, I don't know what you're talking about. It's just a like friend. Harriet, have him help himself to tea. I will not be serving him. Oh, um, I don't really serve tea to men, though. Like, um, uh. I can get my own, thank you, sir. He doesn't get to speak to me. I got everyone keep Ava. Um, yeah, can I get the chai tea latte with <laughs> Sure. <laughs> latte? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, would you, how, how would you like it? I'm, well, like, maybe I kind of want to get the English breakfast tea. English breakfast tea? Okay, all right. Um, uh, you, you seem like you don't want to serve me. Which one do you want, sir? Which one's the most teaiest of teas? They're, they're both tea. No, it's not. English breakfast is clearly... A breakfast tea, and the other one's like a tazo. I say, Lady Ava, hey. working as a common barista. Oh, crap, it's a lord. Hey, peasants, get out. <laughs> this is scandal. I must report to the rest of society. No, Ava, get back there. <laughs> Damn, I was really looking forward to that chai latte. Hey, son, Lady Ava. Here you go. Oh, sorry, thanks. How did you, you said you were going to do an undercover mission to get closer to the commoners. <laughs> what did, why did you discover their, their secrets, their, the inner workings of, of lower society? Yeah, um, they don't really appreciate having raspberry jam in their tea. I don't really understand that. Bizarre. I mean, what? Right? A proper cup of tea. Yeah, okay, let me get you one, because like you are a fine lady there and you're not those disgusting man. Here you go. Sorry, actor. Make a move 30 seconds left before you're single forever. Ava, what are we gonna do? It's almost midnight. No, like, what, what, how about just like, make some more tea? That, I don't think that's going to get me through the rest of my life. You have Jane five Austin. seconds. Jane Austen. 
Austin. In Austin. Here comes the rest of the guests. I have one oh, question. <laughs> with, with clean something. <laughs> with clean. Boots. Boots. Let's say a gentleman with clean boots. Boots. <laughs> you cannot tell. I am leaving. Okay. <laughs> yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that has been Toast and Jam. The rush to the left. Right? <laughs>